press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turkman from Afghanistan and in this video I am going to show you 5 ways to fix screen overlay detected problem on Android devices. Screen overlay is a very common problem on Android devices running Marshmallow or above. And in this video I am going to show you not one, not two but five different ways to fix screen overlay detected problem on Android devices. And I am 100% sure one of these methods will definitely work for you. So please watch this video till the end as I will be explaining everything step by step. And if you find this video helpful in any way then please share it with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost anything. So please do share this video with your friends. That will be considered a big support from you guys. So with this being said, let's begin. Okay, so let's start with the first method. First method is resetting applications preferences. So as you can see here, I have an Android phone. This phone is running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. In this phone, I have installed an app called Audio Vision. When I open it, it's gonna ask me to give the permission. When I try to give the permission, it says screen overlay detected. Okay, first method is resetting applications preferences. To do that, Go to your phone settings now open up applications or app manager after that tap on these three dots next tap on reset applications preferences now it's gonna ask you whether you want to reset the permissions so i'm just gonna say yes what it will do is it will reset all the preferences of the applications that you have installed in your phone so now let's go back Let's try to open it. Hello? No, it's not fixed. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If it didn't work, then you don't have to worry. Just proceed to next method. Okay, if the first method didn't work for you, then try uninstalling or removing the apps. Apps like 360 Security, Clean Master, Battery Savers, and all those apps. Sometimes those apps cause the problem of screen overlay detected. So, here I have an app called Battery Doctor or Power Doctor. So if you have such kind of app installed in your phone, then you have to uninstall it. So I'm just gonna uninstall it. After uninstalling, just check back whether your problem is solved or not. So I'm just gonna check once again. Nope. The problem is still there so let's go to next step if the last method didn't work for you then try to turn off the apps that is causing screen overlay problem so to do that just tap on the app that is asking for the permission in my case mine is audio vision so as you can see here it says screen overlay detected now it's asking you to turn off the apps from the settings just tap on open settings and it's gonna take you directly to your phone settings if you get lost and you cannot find this page then go to settings after that tap on apps or application manager now tap on these three dots now select apps that can appear on top just select this one now you will see these are the apps that might cause screen overlay problem. In most cases, Facebook Messenger and some screen recorders will cause this problem. Like this one, as you can see, here is as a screen recorder, it has a floating widget. In most cases, these kind of apps cause the screen overlay problem. So you just have to turn it off. So I'm just gonna turn off Facebook. Facebook Messenger. If you are not sure what to turn off and what to turn on, then you can turn off everything and see which one is working for you. So I just turned off the apps that I think causing the problem. So let's see whether our problem is solved or not. So I'm just going to open Audio Vision. Allow. No problem is still there and here is a bonus tip if you have installed an app on your phone that has swiping feature on home screen 
let me show you what I mean. Here I have an app that has swipe up feature from home screen. If you have this kind of app installed in your phone, then you have to uninstall it or turn it off. So in my case, I know this is happening because of ES File Explorer. File Explorer has a ES File Explorer has an option to swipe up from home screen. So I'm just going to turn it off. So here is ES File Explorer. So I'm just going to tap on menu. Now as you can see here it says ES Swipe. Just turn it off. Now see if your problem is solved or not. If your problem is still there then you have to install this app ES File Explorer and you have to find another alternative. If my previous methods are not working for you then try to give the permission using safe mode. For Samsung devices key combination is very easy. If you don't know how to boot your phone into safe mode just do a simple google search and you will find how to boot into safe mode of your phone. Since I am using a Samsung phone so I'm just gonna boot my phone into safe mode if you are using Samsung phone then follow my steps first of all turn off your phone make sure it's completely turned off after that press volume down button then power button press and hold these buttons together for a few seconds once Samsung logo appears just Release the power button and keep holding volume down button. It's gonna take time. After that, the phone will be booted into safe mode. Okay, now you can see my phone is in safe mode now. As you can see, here's the safe mode sign. When you are in safe mode, you cannot use the apps that you have installed from Play Store or outside of Play Store. Okay, to give the permission, just go to settings, go to applications. Now find the application that is requiring the permission. In my case, mine is this one, Audio Vision. Now go to permission, which is at the bottom. In your phone, it might be somewhere else so you just have to find the permission now try to give the permission from here as you can see it's working and now as you can see it's working so once you've done that just restart your phone and it's gonna boot up into normal mode Okay, now you can see my phone is booted up. Now you can see the app is working perfectly. Now I can use this app without having any problem. If any of my previous methods didn't work for you, then this last method will definitely work for you. I can assure you that this will 100% work for you. So, in the last method, we are going to use an app to get rid of screen overlay problem. And the app is called Install Button Unlocker. You can get this app from the link given in the description below or just go to Play Store and search Install Button Unlocker. As you can see, this is the icon. Just install it. This is a very small app just install it into your device okay once the app is installed just turn it on now you have to allow this app to access your phone settings and to do that just scroll down tap on install unlocker just tap on it and give the permission okay once it's done just go back and go to settings and and tap on applications now find the application that has screen overlay problem in my case my this app was having screen overlay problem so just tap on it now scroll down tap on permissions and tap on this gear icon and now you can see now the permission has been granted 
now when you go back home and use the app now you can see this app is working perfectly so there you have it guys thank you so much for watching this video please let me know which one of these methods work for you in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to share it with your friends and if you want more videos like this then please subscribe to this channel with notification on and i'll catch you on the next one stay blessed